going on everybody? Chuck here, and I hope that you are having a fantastic day today, and thank you for tuning in to the next DIY Lawn Channel. Just to introduce myself, my name is Chuck, and I have the channel Dadding All Day, and you can find a link to that channel down in the description below. Please feel free to come check me out, but don't check me out too much, because I'm happily married. Now here, on what I lovingly call the strip or the rice skew lawn, I feel like I suffer from some severe compaction issues and this part of the lawn has just never looked as good as the main lawn and I blame compaction. So just to illustrate it, I have here a tree stake. I'm gonna see how far I can stick it in the ground. One, two, three. Just to make sure everyone thinks I'm actually trying. One, two, three. So well, let's see here. I'm looking at just about an inch and a half. That's not very far. And just to prove it a little bit further, I'm gonna put all my 280 some odd pounds behind it and see how far it goes. So, I don't know how, you're probably not gonna be able to see that, but we'll try here. Looks like it's about two and a half inches. So, once again, not very deep. So let's go ahead and talk about how we're gonna figure out and solve this compaction issue. So what are we gonna do to solve this compaction issue that I have? on my rice skew lawn. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply something called the compaction cure. And what is the compaction cure? Well, basically it is higher dose applications of both RGS and aerate. And so with the RGS, if you have a larger area that you're working with, now for the, for the strip, the rice skew lawn, I only have a thousand square feet, so I'm breaking it down to thousand square foot increments. But typically you're gonna go 12 ounces per 2,000 square feet on the RGS and 18 ounces per 2,000 square feet on the Air 8. But I'm gonna have those because I only have 1,000 square feet. So six ounces of the RGS, eight ounces, I'm sorry, nine ounces of the Air 8. Eventually I get my math right. And what you're gonna notice here is with the Air 8, it's gonna loosen, breaking up, or breaking up, break up that soil, that compacted soil. And then with the RGS, you're also gonna then encourage the root growth, root mass, now within that nice new soft soil. And extra benefit is you're gonna be putting some carbon material because the RGS has humic acids and sea kelp, which is gonna help also just make that, that soil, the microorganisms just be a little bit happier, maybe encourage some earthworms to come back to help also break down that soil and just make a much uh, healthier ecosystem uh, in whatever area that is heavily compacted. So let's go ahead and mix up some of the compaction cure. Now first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the RGS. You just wanna make sure you shake that up real good. And remember, it is the compaction cure, it is six ounces per 1,000 square feet. Just gonna pour it real slow and nice. And for the aerate, so because I have this ginormous jug, it's just harder to pour. So I actually just pour some inside this Tupperware bowl. And yes, I know people are gonna make fun of me. I do have a Halloween cup marked at eight ounces. So because this is nine, I know I need to go just above it. And so I know that this lip right here is my nine ounces because at the very top, it's 10 ounces. And yeah, I think I twisted it too much one time, so it's not necessarily even anymore. 
eh, whatever. And I spray at the recommended setting to start at three ounces. You can also dial that up if you walk a little bit faster, dial that down if you walk a little bit slower, but I find three ounces. Helps me put out the right amount of product at the pace that covers the entire area I'm working with. So let's go ahead and spray. One thing I didn't say is you should probably wear gloves when you're mixing it because that stuff is, it's dirty, but it's a good kind of dirty. Spray time. So that is it for the compaction cure. It is actually very simple. As I said before, it's just a heavier dose of the RGS and the aerate. Uh, 12 ounces per 2,000 square feet on the RGS and 18,000, I'm sorry, 18 ounces per 2,000 square feet on the aerate. And you want to do that every four to six weeks. And the whole point of this is just to loosen up that compacted soil with the aerate and let the RGS you know, get those roots diving down deep, bulking up, get a little bit more mass, and it's just gonna make a healthier, happier soil. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Comment below any questions that you may have, and I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and God bless.